show la 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 Shane and Tyler show la 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 why won't you call up and save me why don't you save me my heart is going down way down pick up that phone pretty baby and spin my world around spin it around Shane and Tyler show. Uh, it's good to have you here. It's good that we have the live studio audience again. Bigger than ever. Give yourselves a hand, please. Thanks, uh, we've got a pretty big show for you tonight. It's a little, uh, we're a little disorganized right now. We're trying to get things in I bet order. you can't tell, though. No, you probably can't. You know, because our product usually is sort of disorganized. Uh -huh, Maybe a little more so today, yeah. but it's going to be solid. So yeah, so we're here, um, we've, got, we've got some guests, we've got some clips, or maybe just one, actually, we probably just have one. Oh, we do have two, okay. Um, we do? Apparently. Okay. So, <laughs> I tell you what, that's... Okay, so yeah, we got some clips. All right. Cool, that should be fun. Um, I guess we should start by saying we're a live show. Mm -hmm. We take calls. Yeah, if we can get the number uh, up. If we can number. get the number up. Uh, wow. Up on the screen, there it is. I don't think it's March 28th. But, you know, um, yeah. the thing about that no. is that uh, <laughs> we're live. You're seeing us right now. You can get past the date, I think, and uh, probably give us a call. Tell us what you're thinking. Yeah. And uh, Actually, I think it's, it's uh, May 23rd. Wow. Well, today is. Uh, in fact, if you'll notice, I've, uh, I'm, I'm wearing uh, my black hat uh, okay. instead of my usual red hat. Why is that? Well, I'm, well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, uh, today is the one-year anniversary of uh, the death of my favorite professional wrestler, Owen Hart. Okay. Uh, he died a year ago, and I figured, you know, it was, you know, a nice little thing to remember Owen. With the white I'd go shirt. With the, I'd go with the black hat instead of the red hat. You know, okay. I came in mourning kind of thing. And what about the shirt? The shirt's just, I just, was, it was clean. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. But my mom just got this for me, actually. This was my college graduation present. That's it? You know, some people get a car. Uh, <laughs> some, <laughs> some people, like, go to Europe. Uh-huh. Nah. Yeah. None of that. Not at the Gilman house. We get a t-shirt. So this is it. This is my t-shirt. It's a pretty nice t-shirt. Yeah, it's my graduation t-shirt. Cool. So four, four uh, long, hard years of work and uh, mess with the mic there. And that's what, uh, that's what I ended up with. So yeah. look forward to it. Study hard. Yeah. Because that t-shirt's around the corner, buddy. I'll try. OK. Well, um, Tyler, mm -hmm. uh, we can start off with a call. Want to take a call? Let's All right. do it. Let's see what our phone man Jordy's got for us. Hello, caller. Hi. Hi. OK, I have a problem, and I need help. All right. Okay. I just moved here from Wyoming, and I don't go to school or anything, but I need to meet people, and I can't seem to find a place to meet people. I need to meet fine guys and some great girlfriends, so what should I do? Whew. I'm going to, you're the socialite, so I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> throw, this, throw this one over to you. Well, our, our studio actually is located on, let's see, what, what is this, Higgins? 500 North Higgins, I believe. Sure. Uh -huh. We got some pretty cool people here. I don't know if we can get a shot of them. But, I mean, that's a start right there. If you want to come on down here, we got some cool people here. Um, other than that, you know, there's, there's some of them right some there. There's some of them. <laughs> there's more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that might not have been like our older, coolest. Cause like, I, my cousin, I live with my cousin, and she's only 16, and I'm 18, so. She's only what? 
Yeah. You're going to have to speak up a little. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. We're... She's 16. I'm 18. So, like, all the people she hang out with are younger. Uh -huh. So I need to find older people. And there, like, aren't any clubs here or anything like in Salt Lake. So. No. no. No, not like in Salt Lake. <laughs> uh, sucks, so, those so. Mormons do it right, I tell you what. <laughs> uh, the, but I think pretty much the hottest ticket in town is the Shane and Tyler show. Yeah. Um, All right, I'll be there. Yeah. So, you know, All right. Next Tuesday, you can come down and be in our audience. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in fact, if what's what's your name? Erlene. Erlene. Uh huh. Um, we we might just you know say a special little hello to you next week if you come down and uh, and, and come sit in our audience. For real? All right. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. If we can find you, it's a big crowd. <laughs> All right, you'll know me, trust me. Okay. Yeah, bring a sign. I'll, I'll bring a sign. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye. <laughs> That's a nice count. I, yeah. Uh, boy, Jordy, he delivers on those calls right away, doesn't he? Yeah, Jordy, by the way, thanks for uh, getting here. Yeah, our uh, phone man Jordy's back after his absence last week to celebrate uh -huh. a birthday. A big birthday. Yeah. He's not um, a teenager anymore. No, he's not. As he pointed out last week. Um, I think actually, if we could real quick, we we do have another birthday. I found out before the show in our uh, in our audience. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's Andrew Clegg. Oh what, man. What are you? Yeah. Andrew. Why don't you have a birthday? Why don't you go here and have a seat? Andrew. Yeah. This is there. You go. You get him. You scoot over here. Come on over here. There you are. Good deal. Oh, Excellent. Buddy. That's super. So what are you? Fourteen? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Listen to that deep voice. I know. <laughs> so masculine. I know. I do what I can. You gotta speak up a little, well, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. So Andrew, um, what did you do on the big day? Um. Any presents? Yeah, I got some presents from my parents today. Uh, I got some shorts. I needed some Tevas, another Hawaiian shirt. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> um, gift certificate to Best Buy. That was sweet. Cool. <laughs> what would your brother Tom get you? Yeah, what's your, what's your um, uh, Tom wasn't there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he took off about a half hour before we ate dinner. And uh, we didn't know where he went, but <laughs> <laughs> I know he loves me, and that's all that matters. Okay, should we take? <laughs> you wanna, uh, we don't. We don't usually offer this, but you want to take a birthday call for Andrew? Yeah, if let's. Can, let's take one. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Hello. Yeah. Uh, hello. I'd like to uh, say hello to everybody and wish everybody a happy birthday and uh, have a beer for you fellas, huh? <laughs> all right. Thanks. I want to have a beer, man. Happy birthday. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, have a happy birthday beer. I guess right. you're not old enough, so no, I really don't want no. you doing that. But I won't, no. <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. So, well, uh, thanks for uh, coming up here, buddy. No problem. Uh, <laughs> happy birthday, uh, Paul. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's, uh, I just got the signal from the back that we're ready to bring out some some special. I guests. love the back. Can I just say? <laughs> Real quick, the the stuff they do in the back is give them a hand in the back. I tell you what, we wouldn't know we wouldn't know what was going on here were it not for the cryptic hand signals of the back that, that keep this show moving. So we're ready we're ready to move into the next thing. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? What's going on? Well, Kelsey, Clavenberg, why don't you come on down here real quick, Dave? Oh, we got a guitar and everything. A guitar and everything. So, so and Kelsey is uh, nice to have you first nice of all. Sir. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, now, Dave, are, is, is Dave a, a big part of the song too? Is Dave going uh, to come down here? Can I explain real quick? Just it, take by all means. Uh, I was actually working on a, a chemistry project with David Cromwell, and I was playing on David's porch, and this hot girl comes up to me. And she's like, I've seen you on the Shane and Tyler show, part of the live studio audience, That's right? right. Our first I'm one. like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, I've been on, right? And so she's like, they're so cute. I was like, that's cool, that's cool. Well, she goes, I wrote this song for him. And I'm like, I, I'm a shoddy guitar player. I guess I was playing the guitar on the porch. And uh, so we went up into my room, Dave's room actually. I thought I was going to get some, I didn't. But I, I picked up, she wrote out this song. It has chicken grease stains on it. Yeah. But. But uh, she uh, she wrote this and she kind of taught me a few things, and it has a, it has a catchy melody to it, and I, I caught a cold. I stayed up late working on this, so I didn't get enough rest. 
but I'll give it a try. And actually, we have that video. I I think somewhere here, if we could if we could roll that and just this is what happened. Dave caught it on film. Yeah, you want to? Should we go to this first? Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I've been on there once, part of the live studio audience. They are so hot. Yeah, I guess they're all right looking. Why? I have this idea for this song, and I was wondering if you could play it for me. In my bedroom? <laughs> Come on in, have a seat. We've got the guitar all warmed up. Lyrics. Yeah, these are pretty good. Nice pussy! Thanks! You want to pet it? <laughs> <laughs> Feisty pussy. So you want the chorus to sound a little something like this? The shade. for my poor guitar playing but uh i guess this is a tribute to you guys from this young lady oh, over wow. here and she's wow. part of our live studio audience today so uh here we go sitting at home watching the two turn to channel seven and i see you too looking really good in the clothes you wear i want to run my fingers through your dark brown hair it's the shade that i hide That rad new show gives no signs of stopping Cause it's the shame <laughs> Myself, but that's that's all I got. That's marvelous. Yeah, thanks. That was super. Oh, we, we really appreciate you coming on. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and uh, you know, if you run into this gal again, and uh, and she's got something else cooked up, uh, by all means, you know, bring it bring it on and share right. it with us. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, it's just once in a lifetime opportunity. So yeah. Thought you, uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Yeah. yeah.
Boy, that was that was something. You wanna you wanna take a call after that? Yeah, I think we I think we should. Hello? Yeah, uh, for the guy that was just uh, playing the old guitar. Back I got away from your TV. Man. Next Please. time he tries to pet the pussy, leave the guitar at home, man. <laughs> Looks like that guy's got a studio audience of his own. I know, he's pretty rad. <laughs> um, okay, uh, thanks for the call. G Jordy, um, I think, can Jordy hear us back there? Yeah. J Jordy, let's go ahead and... There's caller ID for a reason. Yeah, maybe, maybe if that guy calls again, let's, you know, maybe, maybe not put him on. Yeah. I think two should be the limit for, for one right. evening. Yeah, unless yeah. you're really funny. He was. You know? No, exactly, that was the problem. <laughs> That's why he only got one. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wow, that was so. That's that's two weeks in a row with a little musical something for us. That's right. Uh, that's gonna be tough to top next week. I know. I don't think we have anything on tap. Oh, there's Shorty. Uh, <laughs> now, what? What? Let's see. What else we got here? We we got the audience, and we this is I audience. think like our third or fourth week uh -huh. with the audience. True. And uh, we haven't really, you know, involved the audience at all. No, we show them, you know, from time to time, but you know. Right, but they we come really down here. Do yeah, and they take time out of their evening. And uh, so it seems to me that we should, you know, we should maybe let them participate a little more. Mm -hmm. The audience just keeps getting bigger. And yeah, fast. we keep people coming in. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're out of seats. They're sitting yeah. on the floor. We're packing like, them in. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you know people could get here on time. <laughs> uh, but uh, so I think or let's let's involve the audience a yeah, little more. Yeah, you know. Um, what did you what do you, what did you want to do? What did you have in mind? I think we should have a game. Okay. A little game any game. Should yeah. we only have a game? Yeah. For the folks at home, we didn't, you know, plan this out ahead of time. We don't know who wants to do this or whatnot. No, but uh, no. you know, we've got we've got a couple pies here. We have some pies. They're new. We, uh, they're we just got, we they're, just bought them in today. In fact, they're right over there. Bob, can we get a shot of those pies? Bob, they're up here, right there. Get it. <laughs> oh, that's a nice looking pie right there. Um, and now we we were thinking. We have both apple and cherry. Apple and cherry pie. Uh, and I think this has been done before. Probably. Uh, but we were thinking about maybe bringing up a couple of folks and having them uh, have so, sort of a race, if you will, yeah. to see who can uh, consume a pie first. Yeah, and we have a prize. And we have a prize. This, have this, prize. Ain't no, this, this isn't just for fun, for kicks. No. Right? We got a, in no, fact, it's just true. that. You want me to get it? Yeah. Why don't you Let's, show everybody the prize? Let me just get the, the prize here. And, uh, our studio audience. Uh, now, I, you know, I don't know how appealing this one is to. Uh, I think some people are going to think this is a good prize. Maybe not. So. Maybe not everybody. But what we've got for a prize here is a copy of. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, can we get a zoom on this? It's a PlayStation game. Why don't you zoom on that, Bob? There we go. WWF Attitude for the PlayStation. That's pretty fancy, but it also comes <laughs> with a strategy guide, <laughs> so that you know what you're doing in the ring. All right, and I don't know what this is. I, 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 I wasn't a math major, you know, but I'm pretty sure this is like, I don't know, $50 value maybe? Probably, probably yeah. more, but. So th this is, and this ain't like, away yeah. For what? For eating a pie. For eating a pie is all you got to do. And this, it's not like these are, you know, like this is, look at this, this ain't used. No. Look at that, you can take that into the crime lab, there's no prints on it. I know. This here uh -huh. has been played once. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and then I got another copy. So, and, yeah. uh, and so, yeah. it's, it's available for, and then we want to just take some volunteers. Yeah, do we have so anybody take might want to win anyone? This we have shirts. We have some. There's a one. Shirt we can put on you to. Uh, we got one. So you don't get it all over yeah. yourself. Come, come on, stand up right we here. Come on over here. We, we got one else? here. Dave. Let's set these over Dave. here. Dave, Dave, you want to be a part of this? Dave. Okay. We got a we got a couple of takers here. Uh, okay. Now we want to send now, them with Logan and. Now Logan, now would you take these guys and put some t-shirts on them? So, so, we, so you guys don't get stuff on your clothes or anything. <laughs> It's and uh, why, why don't you guys head off with Logan, and he'll tell you the rules and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just go ahead. We, we got some stuff going here, Logan. So go ahead and take your time if you need to. Um, Ryan, would you go ahead and hand me those pies, please? Now, uh, do you think do you think apple and cherry are good flavors? Well, they're pretty good flavors, but could, could we know could we even... spice this up for the for the audience for the folks at home? Is there anything you can do? <laughs> what do you think? I think we could. I, I think apple and cherry are a little boring, personally. We, I think so, too. Let me see what we got. <laughs> OK, there's, I have some, uh, this is some uh, teriyaki marinade. Uh, OK. 
And I, I, oh, we've got a syringe. <laughs> That's super. What we could do <laughs> is maybe wow. just, you know, <laughs> give each of these a little shot. Well, what do you think? Let's see. Yeah, we got, you know. OK. I think we're going to do it. <laughs> Go ahead and fill me up here. They're going to, this would be great. They're, they're going to like it, you know. Who wants a normal? They're going to think this is, is all, so funny. This is all, 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 all Go ahead and, and fill me up. Oh, that smells good. That's my, oh, God, that's too much. Oh, that's nasty. OK, I'm going to go ahead and dump some of this. Go ahead and give me that back. This is, oh, God, this is good TV. Let me just get, yeah. I think that might be a bit too much. So I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm going to go ahead and, um, that's, that should be that. pretty tasty. So let me get this in here. OK, this is kind of incriminating. You want to do this? No. OK. <laughs> You're doing that one, though. Okay. I'm just oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this in there and see if I can't. Oh, see, it's not going in there very good. You know, who's uh, chopping? Just get that in there. I don't know if they're gonna eat that. No, they'll eat that. I don't know. That's no problem. Okay, give me that one now. No, no well, we're not quite ready. Go give me that one. They're not gonna eat that. Well, we'll do what we can. I think we should leave one sane pie. One normal pie? No. Yeah. No. OK, well, you know, who doesn't want that? Should we just see, like, you know, we'll just give one guy each pie and see who can get done first? <laughs> you want to do that? Put a blindfold on him. <laughs> blindfold him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Ah, man. This, this stuff smells really bad, by the way. I know. Um, OK, we'll just, uh, we'll just give, uh, let's see, which one give Dave that pie? Yeah, do you think Dave's going to eat that when he smells the teriyaki, teriyaki on it? Well, he might have to go around it, you know? We'll see what he can do. Do you have a blindfold for us, Pat? The studio yeah, audience yeah. member, Pat Lowney, do you have a blindfold? I could use uh, something right now, but just, I'll just set this right here. Okay. Let's, just, let's just give, uh, let's give Dave this one. I don't know if Dave's going to do it. Well, hey, Dave, Dave, Dave might get beat, you know? We'll, we'll have to wait and see what, what happens there, but i got to go ahead and get this out of here. Uh, we're good. Uh, so, yeah, get the bottle out of there. <laughs> here, I'll get this out of the way, too. So do you want me to take this stuff out of here? Go ahead and... Uh, yeah. Here, we'll, we'll just get our kind of, contestants. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and grab them. Uh, i got kind of stuff on my hands here. <laughs> this one's going to be Dave's. Okay. And uh, this will be... Uh, put that hand away. Well, I'm kind of... I'm just you know. helping. Yeah, we're kind of buying. Um... Yeah, what's this on? This is cherry. Sarah. Oh, this is a little chocolate here. Oh, yeah, Jordy, good guy. Good. Are we, are we bringing him in? Are we going to bring him in? <laughs> we'll give this to wash it down. No, we'll give, we'll give him a little something to wash it down. Let's go ahead and just get him right here. We'll kind of do it on the floor. We put too much chocolate too much right here. on one of the oh, no. Just right down there, guys. Uh, just the just sort of right here. here. OK, here's the cherry one. Called dibs on it. That's cool. All right. Right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get facing that way so Bobby can get a shot of you two. And we'll uh, okay, we'll and get here's the pop wash. He's on here. I'm going to take this off for right now. Uh, just kind of on your knees, fellas. I think okay, be now you can't use your hands. You know the rules. Uh, Logan told you the rules, right? Are you guys ready? Let's yeah. now. Dave, 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 Hold on. Wait. Dave, Dave. Quiet for a second. Now, remember. <laughs> Remember the prize, what the winner gets. Now, the winner gets the PlayStation game now, and I'm the strategy guide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hand these to you. I'm going to hand these to you guys at the same time. It starts we'll just put them as in soon as you get this. You're just going to. Yeah, yeah. Just have them set them down, and they can dive down. OK. Kid Gilly, just right. set those in front. Once, and as hey, soon as these are on the floor, we're going. Once they hit the floor, we're going. All right. We got this. Go. You're going to want to jump back, because these guys now, are Now, audience, we want to hear you cheering on. Let's do this. OK, let's go. Let's see what we got here. It looks like Dave is in the lead right now. <laughs> Dave is out in front, it looks like, but it's still anybody's race right now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go guys. Keep up, fellas. Let's see what you got. Come on, Come on Dave. We, you know you can do it. Enjoy the delicious Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, Dave, he's almost done, Dave. He's almost done. I think we almost got a winner over here on the run.
Okay, let's see. We're almost done here on the right. Almost finished. Come on, Oh, we got a winner. We got a we got a winner by disqualification. Let's get a little interview with Yeah, here we go. Let me, I'll come down here with you here. Let's see here. Let me see what we got here. Okay, Bobby, I'm here. This here. Uh, <laughs> we'll get you something. This is this here is the winning pizza. Uh, we got the we got the winning pizza right here. Um, how do you feel? I was probably gonna puke. Okay, that's cool. Just don't do it in here. Um, congratulations. Uh, you you won yourself. Uh, here we'll give it to you right now. Here you go. You won yourself these great prizes. That's what it pays to play on the Shane and Tyler show. Uh, Dave, Dave, thanks, thanks a lot for playing. Thanks for playing. Um, you didn't have it today. And now, Tyler, you know what? You know what we were thinking of doing. You know, Dave sure. was a really good sport. Yes, he was. Dave didn't just stop when he got to the. Uh, and by the way, that was. Uh, uh, teriyaki with a hint of uh, <laughs> <that's so good. laughs> with, a, with a hint of pineapple. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, now, Dave, we, we've got a little consolation prize for you. Tyler, we're, I think we're going to go ahead and yeah, give out the. Uh, I'll block it. No, no, but. <laughs> you know, we've got. Uh, Do we need to take some calls first? Yeah, we'll take a couple calls after this. Dave, we've got oh. the real world you never saw. I don't think that's a Oh, man. Yeah, this is. It's a great video, and, you know. It's uncensored. guys, man. Let's uh, get these out of here. Go ahead. Thanks a lot, fellas. Dave, thanks for being such a good sport. Careful there. Go ahead and put that over there. Yeah, those places can stay there for now, so, I guess. You know, we got a little cleanup after the show, but I sure. think it was worth hey, it. Hey, it's nothing new, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we usually have to throw my mic back on here. Let's go ahead and take a call. Okay. That was fun. Mm -hmm. A caller. I got some pie on my shirt. Hi. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Um, you know the Dave guy that was in the audience? Sure, yeah. The one that just ate the pie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've heard of him. Yeah, he's hot, dude. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be happy to know that. <laughs> and I also wanted to um take a shout out to somebody. Okay. Um, her name's Amber, and she's having a birthday on Sunday, and she's gonna be on your next show. Cool. Yeah. Well, um, have Amber get in touch with Logan. <laughs> and Logan will probably get that worked out. Okay. Yeah, I handle this sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's birthday shows. All right. Okay. Thanks for the call. Thank you. Take another one. Thanks. Bye. Hello. Hi, you guys. This is Lauren. <laughs> hey, Lauren. <laughs> Were you rooting for Dave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you guys. Gosh. Is he okay? Vomiting. We don't know exactly where he is right now. Yeah, we're not real sure where he's at. <laughs> we kind of ran off down the hall. But we had to kick him out of the studio with that. He looked so sick. Yeah, yeah, How do you just the all There's a lot of equipment bit. in here. We don't want mess. Yeah, Courtney Keeley and I are just chilling. Then we're like, oh my god. Okay, sweet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we call it. Okay, see you guys. Thanks for the yeah. call, Lauren. Bye. You know, a good call. She's just probably looking mm -hmm. out for her brother. Yeah, absolutely concerned. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be traumatic to see a family member go through something like yeah, that. Not eating something they shouldn't. That's. I don't know if it's something that he necessarily shouldn't, you know, <laughs> well, have eaten. It doesn't sit probably real well. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it wasn't the tastiest <laughs> thing ever. But, you know, it's not like he went away empty-handed or anything. No, I, no. Huge no. price. And he entertained all these fans. I know. Oh man, I'd give you. Hello. Hey, what's happening? What's your show about, man? Uh, it's just about stuff, you know. Yeah, some cool stuff. Pretty much anything. It's what you're looking at right now. Yeah. That's a cool, man. <laughs> I wish I could return audience. the compliment. Studio what did you What did you think of that caller? I thought so too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. too bad. That's about uh, what we can expect. Maybe. Yeah, Jordy, you got that guy's number. I think we're all clean. Um, I'm clean. Mm -hmm. I'm clean. We got. We might have to clean up the floor a little bit, but <laughs> hey, that was that was fun. You guys think that was fun? Was that? A good yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh. Now I don't. I don't know if we're ready, but do we have a clip set up, ready to go? I think we do. 
Okay, yeah, uh, I just up. got the thumbs up from our man in the back. <laughs> Again, special thanks for that thumbs up, Austin. Special thanks for that. Um, should we just go ahead and play that? Let me let me introduce Set it this up. clip real quick. Okay. This is actually um, a project with my brothers. He uh, is a journalist in his part time, and he hit the streets uh, looking for some hard hitting news. He's uh, partaking in some documentaries, and so this is the first in what might be a three part series on uh, subcultures in Missoula. Mm -hmm. So um, I think he, he tagged along with some of the uh, some colorful characters in Missoula, found out what their day was all about. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's let's, let's go check, check it out. out. Let's find out about it. Hey, what's up, man? Ready to go move it? Let's go. I think the first time I ever mooned someone, I was seven, maybe eight. I'm 18 now, and I, I just don't know where all the time has gone. It's as if my moon was the real moon, forcing the tides of my life to recede, gone from me. Forever. Your friend Andy seems to have a problem with mooning. Do you think you're perpetuating his behavior? No. Nah. Friends don't judge friends, and that's the first thing you learn. I mean, I just drive my truck. I mean, sometimes I moon, but mostly I just drive my truck. Like, I'll just be going to get some chew or something, and he'll just jump in, and we'll both just start mooning. And it's, it's no big deal. We just, we're just having fun. I, it's no problem. Hey, what about over there? No, nah, wait for the prize, man. Just wait for the prize. All right. I like to call this street Prom Street because, man, you better believe I didn't go to prom like those losers. No we way. We drove up and down. We knew those losers were going to be out here on the street, like, after. So, oh, man. We just drove up and down, mooning like crazy. They were puking out of the limos. Was so awesome. No, I mean... I can't believe that night. You know, they, they hold themselves above us, you know? And we're just showing them what the real world is like. Yeah, it's like, welcome to the 90s. Yeah, exactly. That was, that was a fine time. Now, you know, we're heading down Broadway. We're going to... We're trying to get into... Kind of in the middle of downtown, we usually go in a counterclockwise radius around the city. Um, it's like our strategies. Right. Has there been any repercussions from your mooning? Well, personal repercussions, sure. Um, if you mean other types of repercussions, yeah, once. Uh, I don't know, I was high on, on the adrenaline and... I mooned a cop. I don't know what I was thinking. I just, we just pulled up to him and I let it all out. And we were so close I could feel the cold steel of his badge rubbing up against my ass. We just got away. That was the only time. Repercussions? Not really. There was one time I think Andy might have gone a little too far. There were these kindergarten kids getting off their bus, and he went and mooned all of them. They got real sick, and the teachers got real sick, too. It was a big mess. They, that was about it. Andy and I went up to this other city once, and, uh... Oh, couple! Here we go! Sweet! This is the big one! Oh, man! Do it! Why? Why am oh, I doing this? Don't think just moon! Oh, God! Go what is wrong with me? I don't know, man. Every time, it it just takes something out of me. You always get so emotional, man. You just gotta just go with it. Don't you understand? It, it isn't right. I can't keep doing it anymore, but I have to. Yeah, it reminds me. It's my turn to move next time. All right. As you can see, I'm driving now because Tony wants a moon in time. You better believe that. There ain't no doubt. You know, the greatest thing about mooning is it, like, elevates you to whatever level you're mooning at. Like, 
I grew up down on a ranch. And these people with their fancy ties and tennis shoes, they think they're all, I don't know, presidents or something. But when they see my butt hanging out the window, they know we're just all people. And I'm Tony. And I'm Andy. And, you know, for me, it's just, it's more of a, it's just a compulsion that I, I just don't know why, you know? I understand that it's not that I have a really great ass, and it's, you know, I just, I just like to show it, and I don't know why. I, hey, I, check it out, mom with kids, here we go! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, hey, Tony! You really got them good. Way to go, man. Nice. Yeah. You really showed them. You really showed them, man. It's all right, they had it coming, and they were gonna get it eventually. Want it from me, probably rest for me later or something. You know, I've been thinking what we could do is one guy driving, another guy in the cab. Yeah. We could just moon the whole town, you know? It'd be like a just, moon, be like the army mooning. Army. Yeah. It's like the moon in a uh, army. Do you ever think about the victims? Well, no, see, no, what you gotta understand is, you know, when you're in the moon and rush, you, you don't see the people as victims. You don't even see the people as people. You're, they're just, they're just faces, faces for you to moon. It's all right, Andy. You know, I usually, I try to moon about every night. I tell my parents I'm going to read to the blind, but I'm mooning. I can't believe they buy that. Why would a blind right. person want to read? Oh, man, all right, get ready. All right. Look at this kid. Okay. All right. Die, you be scum! All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Oh, man, he's spewing. Oh, man. <laughs> So what's your happiest moment in mooning? Well, there's this one time, uh, Andy and I, we saw this funeral procession. We did a little maneuver I like to call Two Moons of Paradise. Anyway, we drove right off the road into a tree. It's the first time we ever got mooned back and that body came out. It's pretty much my happiest moment. You know, people have this way, way too simplistic idea of what mooning's all about, you know? They think it's just, just take off your pants, you show your ass to somebody, they vomit, and that's it. But it's not. I mean, there's different types of moons. You have to train mentally and physically for it. You know, my personal favorite moon is uh, one we call the commando. That's just all out screaming, you know, right out of the window. That one always gets a good reaction. Um, mentally, you know, you just have to psych yourself out for it. You gotta, yeah, you, know, you have to be, always be ready for cops. Always be ready for someone who's gonna take it too personally. You gotta really build up your courage and physically, well, you know, you gotta make sure you can run. And also, I think you just, you need to bolster your energy to keep it going all night. It's a hard job harder than most people know. You know, I was just telling the guy about our, uh, our different styles of mooning, how it's almost a science, and for this experiment, I want to try the Phantom. Oh, it's been a while. It's silent and very deadly. This is one of the highest precision moons. Here's a kid at a bus stop here. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Gotta get focused. Here we go, man. Mental acuity. Oh, man. Let's go! You know, man, I've been thinking there... You know, there must be something really disgusting about us if every time we moon someone... They all seem to puke. Yeah. It's true. I don't know. 
I think it's their problem, really. You know, they just weak just, stomachs. Exactly, they're just sensitive. Yeah. I think you know. If you can't stand the last, then get out of America. Right on, man. That's deep. Go back to Thailand. Where you know. Yeah. Or Mexico, right. or you know, mm -hmm. Utah or whatever. Stay the hell out of America. This is ass country. Yeah. Big ass country. You know what? What people really don't understand is there's more of us than just, you know. It's a car. Pull into the alley. Oh man, let's get out of here. Are you sure? Yeah. Should we drive? Just run. Come on! Come on! Come on! truck's probably faster. I got, like, third place in my, you know, city track meet once, but I still think the truck's probably faster. It's just like I was telling you. When you're Mooner, you gotta have good legs. Legs to run in. certain risks when you decide to be a chronic mooner. Personally, I don't even think about it, you know? It's just the rush. It's the uncontrollable urge. It's what I live for. And like I was saying, you know, there's more of us than just Tony and me. There's a whole subculture out there, man. We're your children. We're the future. We're the future. The future of mooning. Oh, it's good to know, man. The cops after you. You got friends. Friends. You moon in there forever. Forever. Powerful. Powerful. I really think uh, that was powerful. It's introspective. It makes you uh, reevaluate who you are and where you live in society. Yeah. At least it did with me. It's, uh, it's a little bit better level of journalism than we usually see on this show. Yeah, yeah. Shows, you know, the real person. Um, I guess we could take a quick call. we got to make this really quick, caller. So, you there? Hello? <laughs> okay, last chance. Ooh. Sorry. We had to hang up. Um, okay, uh, I guess... We've got a game show. Should we yes. plan a, a quick the little thing? The fun is thing? nonstop tonight on the show. That's right. So, um, should we introduce our uh, our hostess here? Yeah, let's get let's get the hostess first. Hostess Carson Murphy. Yes, come on, Carson. Carson. Uh -huh. <laughs> now this game is, is sort of a it's a it's a who am I type game. Carson will read the clue that you know our guests will pick it. Pick the clue. They choose it. Carson reads the. Uh, clue and they you know the get to decide winner. which one of us it is and we'll yeah. kind of keep score for them yeah i guess and uh because the winner the winner go ahead gets gets to be on the couch much like andrew was uh this week uh -huh. um it, talking with us um but they don't have to have a birthday it's just it's just for winning the show they get to come on a little guest spot on the show next week uh -huh. so it's not for nothing yeah that's, that's true right. so almost a better prize than the other two combined i agree <laughs> Maybe. I think everyone agrees. <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, Andrew Clegg, contestant number one, come on down. <laughs> Getting a few boos, I hear. Yep. Um, Ryan Callahan. <laughs> Jessica Hilly. <laughs> and as always, good luck to all our competitors you and uh give them their ringers here oh yes yes oh and to All answer right. when you know if you think you know the right answer you blow in with these so they're clean here you go these are these are brand mm -hmm. new so should we just, just start like the with the <laughs> yep so just go ahead and uh we're gonna yeah. start with a we'll start clue with this. and then whoever gets this can pick the next clue that's right all right work for 100 
In one summer, this person dented his work truck, shattered its back window, and broke the lawnmower. Who am I? Up. Oh. Is it Tyler? No, it's not Tyler. Andrew? I'd have to say Shane. Yep. Shane. For oh, there's a hundred for Andrew. All right, you get to pick the next clue then. Um, I'll take work for 200. <laughs> he once worked as a lowly bag boy at Buttrey's. Who am I? Anyone can blow in? Yes? Shane? No. Not Shane. <laughs> Anybody. Come on, 50-50 chance. Yes. I don't think it was Tyler, so I'm going to have to go with Logan. Once again, he wins. <laughs> Andrew, that's 300 points. A strong lead. Competitors. And you get to pick Feel free to ring in and lead. even wager a guess. Music for 300. <laughs> this guy's CD collection features Celine Dion's album, Falling Into You. <laughs> yes. Is that Logan again? <laughs> Anybody else? Go ahead and guess. Either one. No, I'm sorry. Anyone else? No, you, you can't, can't buzz guess in twice. twice. No buzzing in twice. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't think that counts. Good yeah, that yeah, that counts. That counts. Yeah, 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 that counts. So Andrew's in last with zero. Let's go. And, excuse me. <laughs> I was downstairs with my girlfriend when my mom called down, son, I don't want you having sex. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> yes. Logan. <laughs> no. Sorry, Logan. Anybody else wish to guess? <laughs> yes. Shane. Yes, it was yeah. Shane. <laughs> I got some numbers up. Can I get road rage for 300, please? All right. Ryan with 200 now, making a comeback. This person once backed his car into a pole <laughs> in order to kill a squirrel. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> wow. Yes. Is it Shane? No. <laughs> yes. I think it was you. Was it Tyler? No, Jessica. Oh, was it Logan? Yes, I don't know. Oh. For 300. Yeah. Jessica, you get to pick. Jessica's got 600. Um, yeah, 600 now for Jessica. Bedtime. This person can't sleep unless it's in the nude. Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I don't think they want to know. Uh, anyone? No anyone? answer. Blow in. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's Logan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was for 100. Uh, okay, go so ahead and pick. Can we ask how we knew? No, it's, uh, it was 300. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me uh, a <laughs> crime for 400, please. He is the only one of the three to have been arrested. Who am I? <laughs> yes. Well, I don't think it was Tyler. I'm going to have to go with Shane. Yes, it was Shane for 400. Congratulations. It was only for egging. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> okay, go ahead and pick now. Oh, um, we're at 100. This guy can take care of all your clothing needs at his job at the Gap. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, Modi. Congratulations. 400 points now for Ryan. Uh, can I get music for 300, please? This person bought the new Hanson album the day it came out. Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica. Shane. Sorry. No, not Shane. <laughs> Logan. No, not Logan. Tyler. Uh, I'm going to go with Tyler Gilman. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's right. 600. Now a tie for first. Okay. Uh, it's 766. Uh, 766. Andrew's got seven. Yeah, He's in the lead. Andrew. Okay. okay. Uh, can I get. Bedtime for 400, please. This person sleeps with his trusty Miss Piggy baby rattle. Who am I? <clears throat> Is it Shane? No. no. Not Shane. <laughs> Sorry. Jessica. Um, Tyler. Yes, it's Tyler for 400. Oh. <clears throat> to move to 1,000. Yep. Jessica, you can pick. Um, 
This person ran right out to pick up the new NSYNC album. Who am I? Andrew? Uh, Logan? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. Is it Shane? Yes, it's Shane for 200. And then you get to pick the last one, which uh, would be. Close for 400, please. This person doesn't wear underwear. I'm going to go with Logan. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shane? No, <laughs> Jessica. Yeah. Yes, it's Tyler for 400. I think that makes for the winner, doesn't it? That, yeah, that's Jessica, you're the winner. Congratulations. You're a guest next week. <laughs> Thank you, Carson. Why don't you, uh, yeah, Carson, yeah, Carson. Take a bow for the camera. That was great work. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> thank you a lot, Carson, for doing that yeah, for us. Uh, Contestants, put the phone thank you. Yeah. 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 We all put that back there. Okay. Yeah. It's all yours. Okay. Um, that was fun. Yeah, I got to know you guys a little bit better. It seemed like a lot of the uh, a lot of the guesses for some of the more feminine things. <laughs> um, what are you trying to say? Went uh, went went down here. I would say more towards Logan. <laughs> I, was just, I was just gesturing to that end of the count. <laughs> well, let's let the callers decide Okay. what they thought. Hello? Yeah, I just want to say that you guys are doing a great job. <laughs> that sounds like a familiar voice. And I was wondering how you got Ricky Martin on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, so stupid. I, I don't <laughs> he really looked like he was living La Vida Loca. Man, your caller. Who's that fine game show hostess? She should really try out for a real game show or something. <laughs> She's standing right over there. She's she's blushing. She kind of looks like that Pat Lowney guy that was on the show last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think are, are they like things? related or something? I think so. Are they yeah. like brother and sister? Well, well, I no. Well, <laughs> the general, are they related? I, it doesn't look like it from the reactions we're getting. So. You know, I, I don't know. Let's tell you. Well, they look alike a lot. <laughs> we have another call on there? Oh, yeah, we do have another call. Yeah, you want to uh, take that? Oh, well, thanks for letting me on. Yeah, thank you. Hello? Hello. This is Noah. Hey, Noah, how's it going? Not too bad. Where are you this week? You, you were here last week. Uh, I'm bogged down by some government homework, boys, but mm -hmm. uh, have you been thought I'd give a call in. Obviously doing really well, as you can see. You see the whole show? Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I've never noticed, but uh, your entire show is just so good looking. I just thought you guys should know that from an onlooker's point of view. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, just calling in. Sorry I couldn't be there. Mm -hmm. Those live studio audience, uh, Ryan, you disappointed me in your uh, game show. But <laughs> you guys have a good show? Yeah, thank you. I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye bye. See you next week. Um, well, that Noah's all right. Yeah, he's, he's all right by me. <laughs> um, well, we got about five minutes left. Mm -hmm. uh, Logan, uh, you wanted to say something? <laughs> well, of course I did. <laughs> um, now, I think what we're going to do is, as in the last part of the show, uh -huh. as we, uh, our new tradition is to bring everyone out. Uh -huh. And so we have everyone come out behind here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm not sure if we're going to have to do this by sections this time or... <laughs> I know, we have such a big... The whole thing. Let's have everyone come out here right now. Okay. And now's the chance for the studio audience to say, including you two, <laughs> to say anything, everyone. anything you want. We're going to just kind of pass the camera over. Uh -huh. You can give shout outs. You can, uh, yeah. I have a shout out. Yeah, okay, go okay. ahead. Uh, my uh, guitar. Instructor Brian, he uh, should be watching tonight, so I give my shout out to Brian, my guitar instructor. Let's get a close up of this kid. Cameraman Brian. All right, there we go. You know, first shout out of the night. Hey, cameraman really should be zooming in. <laughs> I don't know what the controller back there is telling you, but. Brian, what's up? <laughs> well, you know, we could let everybody take a call. I'd like to have, I'd like just, I mean, if we have time to have Bob come out real quick. Yeah, I'd like so to Bob. Uh, Time. We can bring out Bob in a little bit, I think. Okay. But let's go ahead and take a group phone call. Okay. Oh, sure. All right. Anyone can feel this. Hello, caller. Caller? Jordy, do we have anyone here? 
Hey, hello? Line one. Line one. Yeah, we're on. We're on one. Oh, there's a hangar. Apparently, they did not want to talk to everybody. <laughs> That's too bad. I guess it's kind of intimidating. intimidating. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, All true. Okay, any more shout outs? Anyone? I got one. Okay. I want to know what people think about keeping midgets as pets. Midgets? That's, that's, that's not a shout, shout out. out. <laughs> I don't think that's a normal I guess question. More, more of an informal survey. Yeah. 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 You know, if it, Jesse Ventura said it on the uh, Conan O'Brien show, and I just want people to know. Well, yeah, I want you know, you know, I, we can check with the next caller. <laughs> Any shout outs, though? <laughs> to anyone's peeps. <laughs> Anyone over here? This side's pretty quiet. I believe Andrew Clegg has one to Morgan York. Oh, oh boy! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's hear a little. Go song. ahead. Hey Morgan, what's up? <laughs> oh my god! Gosh. It's gonna hit the fan. There's some tension between those two. Yeah. Well, um, anyone else? <laughs> Guys? Guys? What? No. This side, come on. Dave, I know you have one. I'd just like to say, uh, hi Carson. Um, I'd like to bring me up there. You could uh, request an answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we have a caller maybe wants to give a shout out. Not yet. Oh, no? No, it looked like it. lost. <laughs> God help us. <laughs> oh, Austin's always having fun back there. Yeah. Now, I guess we should know we didn't have you know, Beef Gordonson calling in today. That's true. That was weird. The show was kind of empty without that. Yeah. His addition. He's usually good for about five minutes. Mm-hmm. At least. Yeah, true. When he calls, I wonder what's going on with him. Sorry that he's not here tonight. And, you know, another familiar face, he always calls from the train or from the uh, semi. Yeah. He hasn't been calling in lately. But, you know, 542 uh, MCAT's the number if you want to get another call in. It's not up there, but, you know, you go ahead and call us. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh, that looks crazy. I got a quick shout out. Okay, quick shout out. Uh, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my Espanol one teacher, Mrs. Fleitner, or Senora as she likes to be called. Boo. Uh, I don't think she particularly enjoys me because I'm one, the only junior in her Spanish one class. <laughs> And I'd just like to say I'm trying for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. nice. That's a good idea. One minute left, all right? Uh, it looks like a different signal. We already got the one minute, I think. <laughs> it's, we're dying. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's that signal. <laughs> Should we hey, sing, Austin, sing you know, we got the whole group shot. Why don't you come out now here? Soundmaster Mike, come on. Yeah. 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 Jim, Chamberlain's here. Come on down. The sign was to bring out the crew. Oh. The oh. Bob. They're doing the work. Bob, yeah. right. come on out, Bob. Go to a new haircut. Yeah. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Right. Come on, Bob. Right. Our cameraman Bob's got a sweet new hairdo. I don't want him to show it to you. Get in there, Bobby. Go ahead and take that hat off, Bob. Yeah. Woo! Wow. That is great. I hope he's going to turn this thing off. Okay, wow. Goodbye. <laughs>